this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Well, today I want to talk about Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama had a saying. When they go low, we go high. And there were many moments when she was the first lady of the United States where they went low and lower and lower on her. And some of the people that you would have expected not to go low went low. And indeed, she did go high because we don't have any instance of Michelle Obama going off on anybody or, you know, shooting a bird at anybody, or doing anything that would be considered inappropriate for a First Lady of the United States. So, indeed, she did go high. And I know there were times when things were said and done to and about her that hurt. They had to have hurt. And I'm not talking about these low-life bottom feeders on social media. I'm talking about people who considered themselves upstanding. There were three times that I vividly remember where Michelle Obama was publicly snubbed. And I believe it was intentional. But she didn't respond. She went high. But at this day and time, on July 1st of 2024, Michelle Obama, after grieving for her mother, ought to have a good laugh. Because truly, she will have the last laugh on these three that I'm talking about. Now, some of y'all might think I'm being petty, and maybe I am. But the things I'm about to show you now shows you something about what people are really about. The essence of people. How they really feel about you in a moment when they think they're on top. Now, I'm basing these three snubs that I was talking about on weddings. Weddings are very important in American society and women like to go to weddings. Most of us like to go to weddings. Men may not, but women do. So there were three weddings that I would have expected Michelle Obama to be invited to when they were in the White House, but they were not. These snubs were publicized and they were talked about. So you know the people knew that they were intentionally snubbing her. Snub number one, Chelsea Clinton. Chelsea Clinton got married in 2010. Now, there might have been a little bad blood there because Barack Obama had beat Hillary Clinton in the Democratic primary in 2008. But all is fair in love and war and politics. So, they were supposed to be comrades. He made her the Secretary of State, and she was doing what she does. Everybody thought they had buried the hatchet. He was the President of the United States. Michelle was the First Lady. They were high-profile Democrats. Their daughter got married. You would expect it that she would have extended the invitation to Michelle, if not Barack. But they did not. They just said, oh, it's just going to be family and friends. That's the excuse that they use when they don't want to invite somebody. Well, it's just going to be family and friends. It's not going to be any political leaders, just friends. But anyway, Michelle was not invited. So that was snub number one. Snub number two, Ashley Biden. Joe Biden's daughter Ashley got married in 2012 when President Obama was still in office getting ready for a second term. The Obamas were not invited. This might not be so bad, except that Barack Obama had made Joe Biden his vice president, giving him the only shot that he was ever going to have at being president. Also, Joe Biden was best friends with some of the worst racists that have ever graced the halls of the United States Congress, including Strom Thurmond, Robert Byrd, and Jesse Helms. Those are some of the most notorious races that have ever served in the United States Congress, 
On top of that, Barack's daughters went to school with Joe Biden's granddaughters and they were supposedly best friends, you know, like family. Well, you invite family to your wedding, right? But they were not invited to that wedding. You would have thought Michelle would have been invited to represent the family, you know, the first family. She was not invited. Again, we're just going to have friends. It's just going to be her friends. And so, no Michelle. The last snub was Prince William and Catherine Middleton. When someone in the British royal family gets married, they invite the world. They always invite the President of the United States and the First Lady always goes to represent the United States. They always invite the President of the United States. The wife goes and the President doesn't because it's just not a guy thing. You're the President of the United States. You're not going to stop what you're doing to go to a wedding. But the First Lady always goes. But again, with Prince William, oh, um, they weren't going to invite any politicians. Now, they invited all of those kings and queens, even some from Africa. But they would not invite the Obamas, even when Michelle said she really wanted to go. She said, if they invite me, I'll go. They still would not invite her to that wedding. So these are snubs that might seem simple on the outside. But you know what is you know what they say the devil is in the details. It wasn't so much that Michelle Obama wanted to go to all of those weddings herself, but she was the first lady and she had every right to be expected the same courtesies as any other first lady. So this was done intentionally. They were sending a message. That was their way of letting them know that you're not in our circle. You're not on our level, even though you won an election. We don't respect this. Okay, fine. But let's look at the fallout. Michelle Obama has had a ringside seat and can laugh as hard as she wanted to at the failure of these three couples, beginning with Hillary Clinton. For all of her muscles and flexing herself and flouncing around all over the place, she's the most qualified person in the world to be the president of the United States. She didn't win. Donald Trump beat Hillary Clinton and won the presidency with all of her credentials, with the whole Democratic machine behind her. She lost. And even though Michelle Obama took the high road and campaigned for Hillary Clinton when she ran for president because people whispered that she didn't like Hillary Clinton, she still campaigned for her. She went high, but Hillary Clinton still lost. Michelle Obama had served her successful eight years, and she went off into the sunset and has made millions of dollars. Not that that really counts, but in America, money is king. But she has been able to see Hillary Clinton go from bad to worse. Till now, she's just an afterthought, a footnote. She was the president's wife when Clinton was president. The end. Now she's got a ringside seat and is looking at the collapse of Joe Biden. Joe Biden is in so much trouble now after that horrendous debate last week that I'm told that they're trying to get Michelle Obama to campaign for him. And Lisa Cabrera shared a report a few days ago that said that they want Michelle Obama to campaign for Joe Biden and she won't do it. That she had become friends with Hunter Biden's ex-wife. And you gotta know she got an earful on just that. But that she had shared some things about the Bidens and Michelle has just been turned off completely. And Michelle might have already been turned off anyway. At any rate, she won't campaign for him. And he is in deep trouble right now. He needs all hands on deck that he can get. And last but not least, the British royal family. They wouldn't invite her to Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding. Well, it looks like that marriage has imploded. The British monarchy seems to be in real trouble since the Queen died. 
The king has his side chick as the queen. Several of them have cancer. One of them is up on charges about something unsavory. And now Princess Anne has been knocked in the head by a horse or something. And she can't even remember who she is. Half of them are sick. And Prince Harry seems to be doing everything he can to discredit them. And even though Michelle Obama doesn't seem to be influencing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, she certainly has friends that are and who are helping them and keeping them propped up so that they can function as royalties. They can go to the Commonwealth countries that Prince Charles and Prince William can't even go to. And that has got to be the sweetest revenge. And I'm not wishing anything bad on anybody, but you reap what you sow. And some people seem to think if they sow seeds of hatred among some people, that those seeds won't come up because they don't value the people, but they don't have the last word. Okay, y'all, let me know what you think about this video. Thank you for listening and have a great day.